list, Great. list. Okay, so I wanted to leave this story to like, so we could do the two parts, like part one and part two, which is which which is part of the collection six. Okay. So, what is in el bosque? In, in uh, el bosque is like a uh, like a farmhouse. In the forest. Ah, in the forest. Okay. Yeah, bosque is forest. So. Bosque. Yeah. So, go ahead. Tell me. Uh, Melaina está manejando con su amiga Amelia. Con su, con su amiga Amelia. Well, well oh, if, it's a, if it's a girlfriend, as in a girlfriend, right? Novia, sí. Yeah, it can be novia. As in a partner, or if it's a, just a female friend, then it would be amiga. Es, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Lesbian. Lesbiana. With an Lesbiana. A at the end. It's pretty sí. much the same word. Yeah. Lesbiana. Sí. Lesbiana. Like this. Sí, lesbianas. But it's, I don't know in English, but in Spanish it sounds sort of rude to use that word. Oh. Like, I don't know if you would ask someone that you just met, like an acquaintance, like, hey, are you lesbian in English? Would you, do, would you ask that? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in Spanish it would sound like rude. Like, we would just say like, hey, are you gay or are you homosexual? <laughs> or we would say just like, do you like women? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one. They're going to a cabin in the forest. Uh ellos van a un cabin en el bosque. Ellos van a una cabaña. Cabaña en el bosque. Yeah, good. Cabana. Melanie y su novia van a una cabaña en el bosque. No, no es cierto. Sí, así es. Sí, así es. Good. I'm ready to leave the city. Uh, listo a salir de la ciudad. Estoy. Estoy. Lista. Listo. Lista. Because I guess it, this is Melanie or, yeah, like okay. one of the girls. Sí. Soy lista para. Para. Salir. Salir. De la ciudad. De la ciudad. Yeah. And no phones, no computer. No, no, tel, no telefonos, no computadores. I would say nada, nada de, de celulares. Nada de celulares, nada de computadores. Okay? Sí. So go ahead. Nada de celulares, nada de computadores. Nada de celulares, <coughs> nada de computadores. A weekend with no electronics. Un fin de semana sin electrónicos. Sin mm, tecnología. Sin, yeah, we would say that sin tecnología. Yeah, that would sound very natural. Sin tecnología. Tecnología. Sin tecnología. Sí. Uh, ¿Qué quiere decir ella? Ellas no van a usar aparatos electrónicos durante el fin de semana. Yes. How do you translate the first and the third? They're going to speak on the phone all of the weekend, and they are going to watch movies all of the weekend. Yep. Okay, good. <clears throat> Melanie drives for a long time. Uh, Melanie manejar por un largo tiempo. Melanie. Maneja por un largo tiempo. Maneja. Maneja. Yes. Melanie maneja por un largo tiempo. Eh, I think we need a cabin. Pienso que nos, nosotros muy cerca, oh, creo que nosotros muy cerca. Se so repite after me. Nosotros. Nosotros. Estamos cerca. Estamos cerca. El cabana. De la cabaña. De la cabaña. Again. Creo que nosotros. Creo que nosotros. Estamos cerca. Estamos cerca. 
De la cabaña. De la cabaña. Good. Could I look at a map on your phone? Sí. Um, ¿Puedo mirar? Podría. Podría mirar. Podría mirar. Mirar un mapa. Un en, mapa. Un mapa en su teléfono. En su teléfono o en tu teléfono. En tu teléfono. Good. Eh, I left our phones at home. <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice to leave? Like to leave an object behind. Um, dejar. Okay, I struggle with knowing that one. Dejar uh, is either to leave, like as in to leave an object or to leave a person. Or, um, allow or to let is also the translation for any, for any of those two verbs as well. To leave. Um, dejo nuestras telefonos en la casa. So this is past, so it would be the oh, hey. the he the he nuestra telefonos nuestros nuestros telefonos en la casa in casa in casa uh, a weekend with no electronics rem oh well I, a weekend with no electronics remember un una fin de semana sin electrónicos sin te no, tecnología Recuerdas? Yeah. So again, un fin de semana. Un fin de semana. Sin tecnología. Sin tecnología. Recuerdas? Recuerdas? Yeah. How will we find the cabin? <laughs> okay. Uh, ¿Cómo nos encantamos? Con la cabaña. ¿Cómo encontraremos? ¿Cómo en contro, contra, encontraremos? ¿Cómo con la, encontraremos? ¿Cómo encontraremos? La cabaña. La cabaña. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> no lo sé. Ok, we can ask for help at that gas station. Okay. Podemos. We can ask. So is to ask for, is that like reflexive? In, no. Podemos, Podemos pedir. Pedir. As for is pedir. Hmm. And it is, it's not a phrasal verb in Spanish. So we wouldn't say for in Spanish. Okay. Podemos. Pedir ayuda en la estación de Petro. Podemos pedir ayuda en la estación de gasolina. De gasolina. Yeah. Now, here, instead of, of estación de gasolina, we call gas stations bombs. And in Spanish, is bomba. Bombas? Yeah. Here in Colombia, we call gas stations bombs. <laughs> ¿Por qué? I don't know, honestly. Um, but we've always called call them like that. So, yeah. You, like, if you ask, like, hey, where's the closest bomba? People would understand. Eh, in, uh, in Colombia, ¿qué es, uh, like, in Mexico, es uh, Pelimex. Aquí es mucho BP o Shell. ¿Cómo se dice el nombre de la bombas in, in Colombia? Like, like the companies? Yeah. Um, we've got Turpil. We've got, we used to have EXO, but they're, they're, they, they recently changed for Biomax, I think. It's a name. It's a new, it's a new one. Then we've got um, Turpil, Texaco. And... Oh, yeah, um, which one else? Uh, Zeus. Uh, um, there's muchos. Yeah, I think there are more, but but here in Medellin, uh, or at least in my state, which is Antioquia, these are the ones that you find 
everywhere. Sí, sí. So, let's continue. ¿Qué van a hacer ellas? ¿Qué van a hacer ellas? En la primera, pedir ayuda en la estación de servicio. Ok, repeat after me. Pedir ayuda. Pedir ayuda. 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 Yes, good. And the second, how do you translate the second and the third? Look for a map in the telephone of Amelia. Look at a map. Look at a map on yeah. Amelia's telephone. Or, yeah. And the third. <clears throat> Stay in the city during the weekend. Yeah. Good. So they stop and get out of the car. Uh, ellas parin y... Ellas, so you could say this in two different ways. Ellas paran. Paran. But it would sound better to say ellas se detienen. Ellas se detienen. Ellas paran o ellas se detienen, which is more formal. Sí. And get out of the car. Y dejan de la, del carro. Y salen. Salen. Del carro. De carro. Do carro. Yeah. Eh, it's dark inside. Okay. Uh, es. Osco. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice dark? Está oscuro. Oscu oscuro. Está oscuro intra. Adentro. Adentro. Yeah. Again. Está oscuro adentro. Está oscuro adentro. Good. Oscuro. I think it's closed. Uh, creo que... I think that... Lo es cerrada. So remember that you would skip the translation of lo. it. Yeah. So lo is only, tra you, you only translate it as lo when it's working as an object pronoun, not as a pronoun, just a regular pronoun. So creo que, creo que está, está cerrada. Está cerrado. Cerrado. Yeah. Eh, do you, do any dangerous animals live live near here? <laughs> sí. Uh, hay animales peligrose, peligroso viviendo cerca aquí? Uh, okay, so the most accurate translation of this would be um, viven viven los animales algunos o oh, any yeah, viven algunos animales, animales peligrosos, peligrosos, cerca de acá o cerca de aquí, cerca de aquí. So, from the beginning pronunciation, viven algunos animales peligrosos cerca de aquí. <coughs> viven algunos animales peligrosos cerca de aquí. Good. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no sé. Um, because I don't have. Porque no tengo uh, mi teléfono. Mi teléfono. How do you say my wallet? Uh, no sé. Mi. Mi billetera. Billetera. Yeah. Good. Do you see that? Uh, ¿Lo ves? ¿Ves eso? ¿Ves eso? Yeah, that is eso, right? Y, no, I, wait, is that? No, uh, yo, uh, esperas, ¿es eso? Eh, espera. Espera. Yeah. With an S at the end would be you wait. 
Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, it's a huge animal. Es un animal muy grande. Es un animal enorme. Enorme. Oh, sí. Eh, el animal es... Uh, enorme. What is agradable? Uh, it's like a, a nice and agreeable. Yeah. Minúsculo. Minúsculo is very small. Yeah. Run. <laughs> Corre. 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 Yeah. Going to the forest. Okay. Uh, vas intra el bosco. Bosque. Entra, Entra al, al bosque. Bosque. Yeah. Entra al bosque. ¿Por qué Amelie y Melanie están corriendo? Uh, porque vieron un animal enorme. Yes. How would you translate the first and the second? Uh, la primera es because they want to have it to, to make to exercise. Y la otra yeah. es porque they're going uh, late for work. Yeah. Mm. ¿Cómo es llegar? Llegar? To What arrive, do you mean? right? Yeah. Yeah, they got Yeah. I mean, technically speaking, arrive is arrivar, but no one ever says that. Sí, sí. Like, that's, I mean, like people who haven't been to a university or something like that, they wouldn't know. I don't think they know. Okay, sí. Um, so, in. Uh, in is in. Yeah. Phone. Uh, telefono. Left. Uh, deje. 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 Our. Nuestros. Cabin. Cabana. Okay. Okay. So. Good. Let's do the second part. So. A. A. We. So, en el bosque, parte dos. En el bosque, parte dos. So, um, en el bosque. Previously, Melanie and Emily, Emily stopped at the gas station. They ran when they saw a large animal. ¿Cómo se dice previously? Anteriormente. Okay. There, 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 there is a series. Uh, like, do you like anime? Like, like, yeah, like anime, like cartoons and all of that. Sí. Yeah. <laughs> do you? There is one that I do. Uh, and there is a series that's called Avatar. Did you ever watch it? No. No, it's very nice. It's about a guy who who controls the four elements. Okay. It's very cool. It's very nice. Like it, that would be like a fun way to practice your Spanish. I think you can handle it. I think it, it could be a good way for you to, to start like with subtitles in Spanish and with the audio in Spanish. Okay. And I, I, I really like it. The, like it's got like four or five seasons. It's very, very good. It's one of, of the best series, like anime series I've ever watched in my life. It's in YouTube? Probably, yeah. I'm very, I'm very, yeah. I, I think it is. And there is another one called Dead Note. Have you watched that one? No, no. Oh, uh, you've got to. You must watch that. That one. Dead well, Note. Right? Dead Note. Yeah, it's very cool. But the anime version, not the movie, but the anime version. It's so freaking cool. Like the storyline. Fuck. It's one of the best I've ever seen in my life as well. Like Dead Note. It's a must-watch anime series. Okay. So, anteriormente. Anteriormente. Anterior. Anteriormente. Again, anterior. Ante, en, anteriormente. 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 Yeah. Melanie and Amelia stopped at the gas station. 
Melanie y Amelia pare en la estación de gasolina. Pararon. Pararon. Fast in this case. Oh, sí, sí, sí. Pararon en la estación, en la estación, en la bomba, sí. But, yeah, stopped at the pump. <laughs> Pararon en la bomba. <laughs> they run and they saw a large animal. Uh, ellos uh, corraron corrieron corrieron cuando ellos vieron un animal enorme good so again repeat after me ellas corrieron ellos corrieron ellas ellas corrieron Corrieron. Cuando vieron. Cuando vieron. A un animal enorme. A un animal enorme. Good. Um, Amelia and Melanie run through the forest. Emilia y Melanie. Corren. Corrieron. Corrieron. ¿Cómo se dice? Through. Antes. But I mean, doesn't this imply in English that they are already out of the forest? Uh, that would be like they're like running through it. Like they're like in it. Okay. So, yeah, we would say more like into it. Like they run into the forest. Okay. Corrieron uh, al bosque. Al bosque. Again. Ella, okay, Amelia y Melanie corrieron al bosque. Amelia y Melina corrieron. Melanie, I mean, okay. it's the same. It's the same. Melanie corrieron al bosque. Corrieron al bosque. Good. Um, I think the animal is gone now. Creo que el animal ya se fue. Yeah, ya se fue. Again, creo que el animal ya se fue. Ya se fue. Uh, yeah. So, ya would be now. It is now. Yeah, yeah. se is the passive voice. And fue sí. is basically gone. Sí. Okay. Um, Amelia ya no puede ver al animal. Lo siento, dame un momento. I'm ready. Yeah. Ya se fue. Listo. So, Amelia ya no puede ver al animal. No, no es cierto. Sí, así es. Uh, no es cierto. So, what does it say? How would you translate Amelia ya no puede ver al animal? Oh, they cannot see the animal. Ah, es, así, eso, así es correcto. Yeah, exactly. So, ya would be as in like, Amelia cannot see Not the see animal the anymore. More. Anymore would be ya in this case. Sí. Uh, Escucha la selección de palabras. Okay. It's so dark here. Okay. Es más oscuro aquí. Now, like in most case scenarios when we're using so or so much, or so many in in uh, in Spanish, we would translate it as tan, tanto, some kind of like okay, yeah, like very similar, like something regarding tan or tanto. Okay. In this case, it would be está tan tan es oscuro aquí. aquí. Está tan oscuro aquí again. Está tan oscuro aquí. Good. Eh, we need to go back to our car. Necesitamos. Yep, go back. Regresan, oh, regresamos. Regresar. Regresar. This is just an infinitive in Spanish. Back. Again, so necesitamos yeah. regresar 
a nuestro carro. Epa. Eh, that's where the animal is. Okay. Eso es donde el, el animal está. Allí. Allí es donde, donde está, está el animal. El animal. Would you say there is, it, there is where the animal is? Would you say that in English? We would say that is where it is, not there. That is where the animal is. Sí. Okay. Allí es donde está el animal. So again, in Spanish, allí es donde está el animal. Allí es donde está el animal. Yeah, it's because in Spanish we do say that. There is where the animal is. Sí, sí. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious about this. Uh, ahí es. Or ahí es. Yes. could say allí es or ahí es. Uh, so suddenly they hear someone shouting. Um, ¿Cómo se dice suddenly? Repentinamente. Repina. Okay. Repentinamente. Remember that L-Y is mente? Mente, sí. And mente is also the translation for mind, as in your mind, on your head. <laughs> and um, so, repentinamente. Uh, repentinamente ellos ellas because it's a group of women oh yeah, ellas oyeron algo oyen a, a alguien gritan, gritando gritando yeah gritando so pronunciation again repentinamente ellas escucha ellas oyen a alguien gritando ok Repentamente, ellas oyen a alguien gritando. Again, repentinamente. Repin, repentinamente. Repen. Repen. Repentina. Tina mente. Yeah. Ellas oyen a alguien gritando. Repentinamente. Ellas oyen a alguien gritando. Gritando. Yeah. Gritando. De repente, Amelia, de repente is all of a sudden. Or all of, the, all of the sudden or all of, the, all of a sudden. Probably in this case they're translating it as suddenly. But I would say that it's more accurate to say that de repente is more of all of a sudden or all of the sudden. Blah, blah, blah. So, sí. What would the answer be? The right one. Oyen a alguien gritar. Yeah, how do you translate the first and the, and the third? Uh, la primera es, they see someone crying. Yep. Y la otra es, they started to sing. They start in present, they start to sing. They start to sing. Yeah. Hello. Hola. <laughs> Uh, hola. Then they see a woman. Uh, okay. <coughs> Entonces, ellas. Yep. Ven un mujer. Ellas ven a una mujer. A una mujer. Okay. Um. Who are you? Okay. Uh. Hmm. So, ¿Quién estás? ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? Yeah. Uh, I work at the gas station. Okay. Um, trabajo en la estación en La Bamba. Trabajo. Trabajo en La Bamba. En La Bomba. En La Bomba. Yeah. ¿Es Bomba en todo Colombia o es en Antigua? And uh, Antioquia. Antioquia. Yeah. This is my state. Antioquia. I would say it's in, I mean, if you, if you said it in any place, I think anyone would understand. I haven't tried that much myself, but I haven't had any problems people understanding me. Okay. Um, okay. 
you left your car there. Okay. Uh, the plural. You guys. Okay. You guys left your car there. Dejan sus carro allá. Dejaron su carro allá. Again. Dejaron su carro allá. Good. Um, and why are you running through the forest? ¿Y por qué? So, so would this be you, past or present? Present. This would be present, but it's tricky because it's a plural. As in, why okay. are you guys mm -hmm. running through the forest? So. ¿Y por qué uh, están corriendo? Están corriendo entre el bosque. Um, maybe here it would sound ah. better to say like, están corriendo por el Hola. bosque. Yeah, it's masculine, bosque. So again, ¿por qué están corriendo por el bosque? ¿Por qué están corriendo por el bosque? Por el bosque. Por el bosque. Good. Um... There was a huge scary animal. Uh, sí. Fue un animal muy grande, muy enorme y mier, no, mier. Okay. So, first of all, uh, there, there was, was there was mm, yes and no. So this is past. Okay. So, there are two ways to say it. Or, which is a simple past, and mm. había, as in, there used to be. Okay. Right? Now, in this case, it would sound more natural to say había, as in, there used to be a huge, scary animal. That's a way that it would sound more natural in our Spanish, like, with a Colombian kind of Spanish accent so yeah so había había yeah había un, había un ánimo enormoso animal enorme hermoso enorme. y gorgeous yeah un, un animal enorme eh, Miedoso. Mm. You know, that's the thing in Spanish. Like, uh, we wouldn't, we, we, it's very rare that we use several adjectives in one sentence. See, sí. it, it sounds very odd, very odd. Like, like at, like at most, we would use two and it would sound like too much. Uh, sí. So, there was a huge, scary animal. Había un, un animal enorme. Miedoso. Uh, let me just see what they say because aterrador yeah that's yeah aterrador. Although, yeah aterrador. like I wouldn't use this word because it sounds like gay to me it sounds what? <laughs> like very gay like like if a man ever uses aterrador it sounds like oh this guy is a little weird <laughs> oh okay like, see, see, see. like okay yeah use aterrador but I'm not getting drunk with you <laughs> something like that okay so, but it's accurate. I mean, it's accurate. It's just the perception, my very personal perception about that very word. Okay. Uh, I, I will use another word. Let me just check it out. Um, maybe, um, let me see. Aterrador. Yeah, that's okay. Um, aterrador. Uh, scary. Escalofriante, alarmante, siniestro. Yeah, I mean, like, these are accurate translations, but I wouldn't use any of this. Like, uh, escalofriante, un animal miedoso. Like, they would yeah. probably like, say, like, it's like a large, dangerous animal. Like, yeah, something like that. Like, aterrador, I think it's the best option, but I would not use it. Sí. I would not use it. I would say, like, I got really scared by that dangerous animal or by that huge animal or something like that. I, I just wouldn't say that. See. Sí. Okay. 
So, um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. Um, so, let's just go on. So, aterrador. What's aterrador? Uh, it's scary. Scary. The woman laughs. La mujer... Uh, se... Uh, ¿Cómo es? Uh, ¿Yo rir? Se ríe. Reír. Yeah. Reír, se ríe. It's laugh is reflexive, which is reírse, right? Reírse, sí. Se ríe. Yeah. Oh, this animal? Oh, eso animal? Este animal? Este animal? Eh, George. Jorge. A large dog runs to the woman. Un, un gran, un perro grande corre a la mujer. Corre hacia la mujer. A, hacia, hacia la mujer. Hacia la mujer. La mujer. Mujer, yeah. Why is it hacia? To. To. Like, oh. like run towards, as in towards, sí. whatever. Sí. Que sigue? Don't worry, he's friendly. Sí. Uh, no disculpes. No, no se, I, this is as in don't worry you guys. So it's okay. sort of tricky as well because it's no se preocupen. No, no se, se preocupen. 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 He's uh, friendly. Él está muy. Él es. Uh, <coughs> agradable. Él es amigable. Amiga, amigable. Yep. <coughs> so, how do you say mean in Spanish? Eh, ¿Cómo se.? ¿Cómo? Mean. How do you say mean oh, in Spanish? Um, no sé. Rudo. Rudo. Oh, we would say like grosero. This is more common, grosero. Grosero. That's rude. Yeah. Although grosero can also be like naughty. Like a naughty boy, a naughty girl. Yeah. <laughs> so terrifying. Uh, ¿Te refiriendo? Aterrador. Aterrador might also work. Aterrador, the one that I told you. Yeah. Aterrador. But I'm not saying uh, that word. Yeah, you, yeah. You better not use it. <laughs> so a large dog runs to the woman. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Um, you're lost, right? Okay. Uh, you guys. Plural. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo se dice lost? Ustedes. Ustedes. Están. Están. Perdidas. ¿Cierto? O oh, verdad. So, pronunciation. Okay, ustedes están perdidas, ¿cierto? ¿Verdad? Yep. Uh, ¿Qué quiere decir ella? So. Uh, ella está preguntando si Amelia y Melina están perdidas. We will just say Melanie, the same. Melanie. Names don't okay. change. Yeah. So how do you translate the first and the second? Uh, she asked them what time it is. And she wants to know. She wants she to know, wants what, to time know what time it is. Time it is. And yeah. her dog is lost and she is looking for it. Him. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, can you look at the map on your phone? Puedes ver a un mapa en su teléfono. Puedes mirar un mapa. Un mapa. En su teléfono. 
en su teléfono. Yeah. No, if you say puedes, then you're saying you're using two conjugation. Oh, okay. Then in that case, here you you would have to say two as well. Oh, okay. But if you didn't use the the s yes here, then if you just say puede, then you should say su instead instead okay. of two for the possessive over here. Okay. So, well, we didn't bring our phones. Okay. Um. Pues, nos no. Pues, no traigan nuestro. No trajimos. No trajimos nuestros teléfonos. Nuestros. Nuestros teléfonos. 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 Yeah. Um, why? ¿Por qué? To enjoy nature. A disfrutar. Para disfrutar. Yeah. La afuera. La naturaleza. La naturaleza. Alesa. Again. Naturaleza. Naturaleza. Good. Naturaleza. Uh, Oh, well, after you enjoy nature, pues después disfrutan naturaleza, después de que ustedes. So after is a, is a, is a trigger of subjunctive. Oh, oh lo siento. No worry. De que ustedes disfruten la naturaleza. La naturaleza. So again, después de que ustedes disfruten la naturaleza. Después de que ustedes disfrutan la naturaleza. Disfruten. Disfrutan. Yeah, la naturaleza. La naturaleza. I have some paper maps you can use. Um... Tengo mapas del papel. Tengo unos. Tengo unos mapas. De, de papel. De papel. Que. Yeah. You guys. Plural. Pueden usar. Que pueden. Pueden usar. Yeah. ¿Qué les pasó a Melanie y a Amelia? Uh, la primera, ellas corrieron para escupa, escapar de un animal que en re, realidad era un perro amigla, amigable. Ok, repeat after me, realidad. Re, <coughs> realidad. Again, real. Realidad. Again, en realidad. En re, realidad. Good. So, ellas fueron, how do you translate it, the second and the third? La secundario is, they were, they were scared of a bear, perseguidas. So, um, so first is primero. Oh, secundario. Second is segundo. Segundo. And third is tercero. That's going to be a homework. You must check ordinal numbers in spanish ordinal numbers in spanish okay yeah yeah you must check that out i mean that's very easy you just look it up you google it and you'll find it quite easy if you've got like yeah uh so so they were chased by a by a bear chased by a bear yeah and the other and, one is they found a phone in the forest yeah okay so uh scary uh, aterrador. A terrifying. Aterrador también. Yeah. 
That's uh ah yes ahí ah yes yeah, remember I choose a silent sí, sí. uh friendly amable 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 didn't bring no trajimos hey um so 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 okay um it's like five till eleven I'm gonna Get off here. I'm going to run and shower, but I will send you a message later today to schedule this week, okay? Yeah, perfect. Um, okay. Let me know when you've got these files so I can upload it. I haven't uploaded the other one. I'm going to do it right now as a matter of fact. Okay, cool, cool. Thank That'll you so work. much for recording. And, yeah, no um, problem. Yeah, I'll talk to you, okay? All right, cool. Have See a good you. one, mate. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye.